I'm, I was a massive reader when I was a kid. I used to, I read everything in my school library, so I had to start ordering more books in. And um, in fact, we had a competition in my class where whoever read the most books by the end of the month, they had to, um, they got to win a prize. And for my class, they had to make two prizes because I just kept winning and everyone else had given up. So I was a massive reader and I just wanted to create my own stories. And I had all these ideas and I'd go looking for my book in the shelves and I couldn't find it. Um, you know, as in a book with all the elements that I wanted. So um, I started writing at the age of nine, um, kept going, um, and then after uni, I did a brief stint at a publisher and I realized that authors were real people who just, you know, had an idea for a book and had written it down. So um, I took a month off, um, wrote a book, and uh, here I am. So when I was at um, my publisher, um, not my not my current publisher, when I was at Penguin Random House working as an intern, um, they made me do some research on uh, on the industry. And um, when I told my boss, I was like, "Oh, I like writing." He was like, "Oh, put it on Wattpad." I don't think he wanted me to pester him about showing my work to an editor. So he was like, "Just put it on Wattpad. You never know what might happen." And I think he was actually quite surprised when it went viral on there. And um, I had a meeting with him, I think six months after. And he'd completely forgotten that he told me to put it on Wattpad. Um, so, so yeah, it was, uh, it was my editor, um, sorry, not my editor, my boss, who, um, who was in sales, who said, uh, yeah, put it on Wattpad, see how it goes. And I did. I sort it off. Yeah. I mean, really, it wasn't so much about um, getting a book deal. It was more about getting feedback. I wanted people to read my work and tell me what they thought. And, uh, yeah, in the end, um, it ended up you know, being a success. I think the most important thing is to finish what you start. I think there's people out there who will write a third of the book and then they'll give up. And um, no one's going to buy an unfinished book. You could go to an agent with an incredibly well-written one third and they'll say, come back to us when it's finished. Um, so you really need to finish the work. And I'd recommend that people let their family read it, let their friends read it, um, get beta readers. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't say no to putting a, a sample of it on Wattpad and, and seeing how it goes, seeing what people think of it. Um, generally, I'd recommend doing that if your book's a young adult book, if it's like kind of non-fic or, or perhaps um, something slightly more um, for older readers, then, uh, then it might not do as well on Wattpad, but you'll still get a few people commenting and letting you know what they think. And that's just really encouraging. I think that's the main thing, is to, uh, is to tell people, uh, to get people to, to tell you what they think and um, to encourage you to finish it. So in book two, Fletcher gets a new demon. Um, she's called Athena, um, and that's that's kind of a clue to what kind of demon she is. Um, and I'll see, I'll see if anyone guesses. Um, and uh, Fletcher goes deep into um, behind enemy lines into the orc jungles. Um, he'll be fighting with orcs and a new threat, uh, goblins, which are a mix between gremlin and orc. No one's quite sure where they're coming from or, or how the orcs are controlling them, but they're this new kind of threat. And um, yeah, you'll meet a few new characters, um, see a few old ones, some that perhaps you didn't think you'd see again. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to end on a, on a big cliffhanger as well. <laughs> so um, I'm just pre-warning everyone, because <laughs> uh, I know book one also ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. But this one's a bit of a nicer cliffhanger. It's not a kind of like, it's more like a, ooh, what happens next kind of thing. Book two is coming out in May this year uh, in hardback um, and it's also available for pre-order now on Amazon and all good retailers but I recommend you go into Waterstones and, and ask for a pre-order there instead to support your local bookstore.